What is up, Smack Empire? Smack Empire here. Welcome to a very quick video here on the freaking channel. So DC Fandom is just a few days away. Today we got a brand new trailer for DC Fandom and it we got a bunch of things, but two of them specifically I wanted to highlight today. Two of the most anticipated games coming next year. One of them Gotham Knights and the other one Suicide Squad Justice League. And I cannot wait to see more from these games. But for now, in that trailer we got two seconds of Suicide Squad just killed the Justice League and two seconds of Gotham Knights kind of sort of new clips. So let's start with Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. So if you don't know, we got four characters, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, King Shark and Deadshot and we'll be going up against some of the Justice League members. Now this is in the Rocksteady's Arkham universe so we don't know what's gonna happen to Batman but we have seen Superman, we know Wonder Woman is gonna be there hopefully and in this clip ladies and gentlemen they're going all out in this area. It kind of reminds me of the opening sequence of Spider-Man where you have this giant boss fight against this guy so I'm really intrigued to see how Rocksteady creates this world metropolis in the day. You know fighting in the day is something I I've been really looking forward to from Rocksteady. So that's gonna be cool. Number one. And number two, we can't make this out, but as they're shooting at something, it bursts. Someone will pop out of that. We don't know who that is. Superman, probably, most likely Superman. But I'm so excited and intrigued to know how many Justice League members are gonna be there. It sucks that we can't get to play as Justice League members, but you know what? I'm here for Suicide Squad. I love these guys. I'm here for them. So we're gonna see how that pans out. But they do manage to capture at least one we're gonna get we'll, we'll see we'll see how it pans out so let's talk about gotham knights and then wrap up this video so in the first clip you can see we're outside here in the gotham city at night nightwing standing there as red hood drives on his vehicle coming here to pick up nightwing most likely after hearing the news of batman's death most likely more than likely usually in games like these you got trailers and marketing materials that are from the beginning or the opening of the game nine out of ten it's that you get to see all these marketing promotional materials from like very early parts of the game. So this is pretty much where I say this is after the news of Batman's death. Nightwing and Red Hood meeting up, they can have a chit chat. But the next one and the final one is by far my favorite. You see Bad Girl in her classic suit, as you know you got two suits, in her classic suits running away as she's being chased by none other than Court of Owls. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have no idea how big of a fan I am of these Court of Owls. They're so cool. Like, they are so freaking cool. There's so much that can be done with these suckers. I'm so happy that they got their own game. I know for a fact that Batman is there. If you've seen last tweet that Gotham Knights made where they showed this newspaper of Bruce Wayne is dead, to me, it kind of confirms that Batman is going with the narrative of Bruce Wayne is dead. But Batman is still alive, he still, you know, roams in the shadows. And more so, there were other names in there, Elliot, Falcone Enterprises. Honestly, in my opinion, this needs to be an ongoing thing. Seriously, like, I gotta come out here and say it, it has to be an ongoing thing. It can't just be one game and then that's it. No, with Marvel doing their thing with PlayStation, back-to-back -back games, DC needs to step it up and do something about their games division. They already got two of the big guns, Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. These other franchises within the DC universe. We got Flash, we got other characters. DC, you need to do something. But ladies and gentlemen, I would leave you here. I'm so excited for DC Fandom. This is one of the hypest nights of the year for, as a DC fan for me because you get a ton of Batman content but a ton of DC content as well. Flash movie, Batman movie trailer. So excited and hopeful that it's gonna be positive. Hopeful to see Supergirl in her suit. Black Adam. Oh boy, it's gonna be that chisel. It's, for some reason, I'm not that excited for Aquaman 2 but that can be changed. Like, I really loved Aquaman 1. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe because there's gonna be a ton of Batman content or Gotham Knights or Suicide Squad Killer just as the content coming your way in the next few days and weeks. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Insta at the Red Smacking Pie, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and peace.